how to make a modded Minecraft server in 2024. This video is going to show you everything you need to know, but I do want to mention that this server is not 24 hours. It's only up and running when your computer's up and running, and because it's on your computer, you're going to need a really good computer in order to run this server. Modded Minecraft servers are notoriously resource intensive, requiring tons of RAM and really good CPUs in order to run well. On top of that, it's also hosted on your own internet, which means anyone who gets the IP address of this server can DDoS you, hit your internet offline, things like that, and figure out where you live under your latitude and longitude coordinates. So that's why it's super important to only get this server IP address out to people that you trust. With that being said, what if you want a server that's up all the time? What if you don't want to worry about the hardware, where you can have any computer you want, and as long as you can launch Minecraft with the mods you have on your server, you can join the server and play on it. On top of that, what if you want a server that you can have anyone join because it's not on your own internet connection? Well, that's where our company, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down to XYZ slash simple, start your Minecraft server in just a few minutes, and start playing Minecraft with your friends with mods. Speaking of mods, you can actually add mod packs to your server and add individual mods to your server. However you want to customize your server, you can do it. And mod packs have a one-click installer, making that process super easy. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So let's say you add a bunch of mods to your server. For whatever reason, it's not starting, you're having issues. The live chat support team is there to help you out in those situations. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash simple to start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nonetheless, we are going to be starting a Forge server here today. Let's do it. First things first, you want to come here. And this guide's really, really good. All the guides we have in this video are actually going to be linked in the description down below. So if I go to any link, it is in the description down below. But nonetheless, once you're here, you want to go ahead and scroll down and click the download Forge button. This tutorial is super helpful, by the way, because your friends will need to install Forge to join this server. And this guide will help them do that. But nonetheless, once you're here, click on download Forge, and that will take you here. What you want to do is on the left hand side, select the version of Forge you want. If you wanted 1.19, for example, you could click on that and then select the sub version. We want 1.20.4 for this video, but this will work for any modern Minecraft version. Then come under download latest and click on installer. That then takes off to add focus where stop, don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Just put your hands in the air and wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear up here in the top right. What you want to do is go ahead and click on that red skip button in the top right and Forge will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser, but as long as you click the red skip button in the top right and Forge is in the title like it is for us, it's 100% safe to keep or save that Forge file. At this point, we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we want to move the Forge installer we downloaded right here to our desktop. Then once it's on our desktop, go ahead and create a new folder on your desktop. You can call this whatever you want, but I'm going to call it 2024 modded Minecraft server because, well, that's what we're starting here. Then you want to open up the Forge installer. This can be done by right clicking on it, clicking on open with, selecting Java, and clicking OK. But if you don't have Java here, what you want to do is go to the description down below and get Java 17. That's what's required right now for Minecraft servers and Minecraft mods. So it's super important for a modded server to have this, but it might be Java 20 or a different Minecraft Java version in the future. And if it is, this will be updated. So whatever version's here, that's the version you need for the most recent version of Minecraft. But that being said, after you get Java, you may need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer, like that Forge installer, and link them back to Java, making them work together. But first, get Java, then run the jar fix. Nevertheless, at this point, we can go ahead and open up Forge, right click on it, click open with, click Java, and click OK. The first thing we want to do is actually install the client version of Forge, because you'll need to use that when you play Minecraft to join your server. So just click install client, click OK. As long as you've played the Minecraft version that you're installing Forge for, it's going to go ahead and install here. You also want to make sure that Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed during this process. Nevertheless, it's successful, click OK. Now reopen the Forge installer, same method, open with Java, and this time what we want to do is go ahead and click on install server. Now this red box will appear. That's a good thing. Click the three dots in the red box and then go ahead and go to desktop. Then you want to find the folder you created, that 2024 modded Minecraft server folder in my case, and click on open. Finally, click OK and it will now install the files we need to start and run a Forge Minecraft server right into that folder that we made on our desktop. Once this is finished, you will get this successfully downloaded Minecraft server and installed Forge message. Click OK and finally you can actually delete delete this Forge installer. Now we want to open up this modded Minecraft server folder here. And then in this folder, we have a few things. Specifically, we have this run file and this is a Windows batch file. For me, it's run.bat. If you want to see that as well, go up to view and make sure that file name extensions are checked. If not, they won't be there. But once you check them, you'll have this run.bat Windows batch file here. Double click on it. And guess what? Your server is going to, uh, it's going to start. Well, it's going to try at least, but it's going to fail. And you're going to see any, press any key to continue. 
Go ahead and do that, and now though you have this eula.txt file. Open this up, and assuming you agree to the Minecraft eula here, which we do, go ahead and change eula equals false to eula equals true. T-R-U-B exactly like that. Then click file, save, and now double click on this run.bat file again. When you do, your Minecraft server is going to start. We can actually join the server at this point, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. To do it, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher, and you're going to want to play Minecraft with Forge. We did that Forge local client installation. That is important because that's what we're going to be using in order to join this Minecraft server with Forge. So if we go to installations here, we have this Forge installation, and then we can go ahead and click play on it. I'm actually going to change the resolution really fast so you can see better once you get in game, and then click play and click play again. So here we are, Minecraft is open with Forge and our server is online. We can go ahead and join this server by going to multiplayer here, clicking proceed, and then we'll go to direct connection. For the server address here, the IP address we're going to use is the local host. And by the way, you can add this server. So if we wanted this to add be added as local connection, we could. And the server address would just be local host, exactly like that. Click done and boom, after a few seconds, it will come online, local connection, and we can double click to join it. We'll actually see us join in over here. Right there it is. Good to go. Looking great. Um, I accidentally disconnected there. But nonetheless, that's how you can get your server up and running. You can get it online and you can join to test it. But what if you want to play with your friends on this server? Well, in that case, you will need to port forward. Luckily, we have this. It's an in-depth guide on port forwarding and it goes over everything you need to know to port forward a Minecraft server. Whether you prefer it in video or in written format, it is here and it is super in-depth. We're not going to be going over this exactly in this video, but this guide here will show you how to do it. Now, what if you want to add mods to your server? Well, we've got links in the description to both Modern and CurseForge, which are where you can download Minecraft mods from. The things to look out for, you want to make sure that the mods you install are for the mod loader that you're using, in our case Forge, and for the correct Minecraft version, which in my case is 1.20.4. If you're using another Minecraft version, you would select that. Now, what do we want to install? Well, I'm going to install uh, two different mods here, and it's actually one mod. It is the Biomes O Plenty mod. Really, really good. Amazing mod, but the reason I'm installing it is because it requires uh, a few things to go with it. It requires the glitch core mod and it requires Terra Blender in order for it to work. So you want to make sure that we are downloading the Forge version of this mod here. And then we're also going to need to go download the glitch core mod for Forge 1.20.4 as well as the Terra Blender mod for Forge 1.20.4. It's very, very common to miss a compatibility mod like this and a Minecraft server and its mod to not work. So keep that in mind. By the way, in the description, there is this guide on how to allow Java through your Windows Defender firewall. That can be helpful if you have port forwarding issues or this as well, how to fix a broken Minecraft server, including a modded Minecraft server. It's just 20 minutes of me fixing different stuff on Minecraft servers and it's worth checking out if you run into any issues with your server. Nonetheless, at this point, it's going to get the mods we downloaded installed. Minimize our browser and we want to go ahead and close out of Minecraft. We're also going to want to go ahead and stop our server here because the server has to be offline to add mods to it. Nonetheless, once we've done that, our mods are going to be here in our downloads folder. And where do they go? Well, they go within our server folder here inside the mods folder. So right here, just drag and drop them. But we're not done. Every single mod that you have on the server has to be installed in your local mods folder within the .minecraft folder. And that's not just for you. That's for everyone joining the server, including your friends. And so it's super important that you take these mods and we just right click and copy all three of them. And then we open up the Minecraft launcher. Then in the Minecraft launcher, what we'll do is go over here to installations, find our Forge installation, hover over it and click on this folder. And in here, you'll have a mods folder and you want to paste the mods that are on the server here as well. Now at this point, we're going to go ahead and play Minecraft with Forge and we're going to go ahead and start the server using that run.bat file now that our mods are added. Now, once we've done this, our mods will be installed and we'll be good to go. All you'll need to do from here is port forward so your friends can join using your public IP, but that's all covered in that port forwarding guide. So here we are, Minecraft is open. We can check to make sure that our mods are in fact installed locally, which they are. The server doesn't necessarily have that way of an easy of telling other than just, well, joining it. So we can join using the local connection there and it will join us right on in. Now, by default, we won't see any biomes of plenty or, or like biomes in this area because it was already generated. It'll only be in new chunks. So let's go ahead and give myself operator by coming over here in the console, typing op and then my username. And then we can go into creative and quickly fly out just to show you that these mods are in fact working. Um, I'm guessing we'll pretty quickly hit a biomes of plenty biome. There it goes. Right there is a biomes of plenty biome. So if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. But this is how you can 
can make a modded Minecraft server for you and your friends. But the easiest way to make a server is, of course, simple game hosting. So be sure to check that out at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash simple to start your Minecraft server and get one click installation of mod packs onto your server, where all you've got to do is download the mod pack and join the server. Nevertheless, at this point, you should have your server set up and running. Again, let us know if you have any questions in the comments, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.